So good evening my dear friends, thank you very much for being here with me. I just did a reading with 1, 2, 3, 6, 12, 17 cards and I took some other cards from another tarot deck to do some explanations or some clarifications. So what I can read here is that the masculine energy really wants to become the magician. He's working hard. So the first two cards that came out was the Three of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So you did that. He really wants that. He has the eyes on the prize. The world was the second card. So it comes for it's a beginning of a new cycle or the end of one and of, of course the beginning of another one. And he, he, he has realized that he's tired, so he has understood he has to change his ways. And the clarifyings for these two are, it's an offer, spiritual offer, being resguarded, crying for the, spoil, for the spilled milk, but he's forgetting there is two cups, so he needs to. Actually... For me, what this card represents, the Five of Cups, is the um, changing the negative beliefs to the positive, or always seeing the positive side in things, yeah? Um, and then the Three of Pentacles, working on your craft, on your métier, and the spiritual offer, okay? And you can really see that on the second row. On the second row, I have the King of Pentacles, the King of Wands, the Emperor, the Fool, the Tower, and the Magician. So he has been, it is a very positive progress, okay? Very, very positive progress. And the third row means that he's achieving what he wants. The Sun, the happiest card of the, and the Aerophant. But it doesn't say with whom he wants to offer. He has made the offer, right? He's making an offer with the King of Knights, he's, but and they ha they have all they are being supported by the universe and they have all the knowledge to to go through with it. But I think that she's not ready. The feminine energy is not ready. So he has worked on his masculine energy, but the feminine energy is still needs to be worked. So. You cannot be in sacred reunion with yourself if you don't, if you don't work on your feminine energy. You have to open the fourth chakra. Okay? The, 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 the chakras above the heart chakra, they are all female. So, here, the clarification was the ten of cups. So, he is aware that he needs to open the fourth chakra to get to the ten of cups. The queen of pentacles. Okay? and the devil so there are some attachments that need to be worked upon okay let's see which advice can the divine energy oracle give let's see let's see admit your vulnerabilities excellent excellent you admit your vulnerabilities, accept your mistakes. I have a video about how to give um, a good apology. To be vulnerable is the m one of the most intimate things that one can do. This is very good. Very good advice. Let's take another one. Actually, let me see what they say here about admitting your vulnerabilities. Which page is it? Yeah, 16. 16. Are you feeling insecure about your future? Do you worry about being able to meet your needs? Either they are physical, intellectual, or emotional, or spiritual, I would add. And fear that you can't? Are you secretly uh, or open denying your vulnerabilities or your dependence on others? Your divine energy is calling you to have faith in loving spirit of the universe. Your needs will be met by your creative spirit with the help of and support of the universe at your side. Trust this. 
Your divine invitations to surrender to all needs to your Creator. Be grateful for your what you have received, and know that this is that this resource is limitless. Accept the truth that you are beloved, trust fun baby of the Divine Mother and Father God, and know that your real needs will be met better than you could ever imagine. That's a very good thing. Well, um, Peter Gerlach has a, a very good uh, program, self-assessment, to know which, which needs were not met, or how m much and how you can do to become a highly nurturing family because that's what the ten of cup means the ten of cups means the highest nurturing family and i can leave the links down below i've already talked about it in my videos uh the inner child also have videos about how to uh um mother the inner child with herself the playful child and the uh, um wounded child using your own feminine and masculine energy so it is if you if you understand it is the the sun and the moon so and i it's something that myself i've i have been working on it and i have also um with the help of the feedback of my daughter um she's she's very she's very sensitive and very loving and she is uh, very smart to point that out in you. And this is something that I'm also integrating, that the, the, when we are working, we use more the, the masculine energy. And when we are at home or at night, after our duties, we become more uh, soft. So to become also soft when we have our duties in mind. And that's... Uh, uh, a challenge that I know I am able to succeed and I hope that others will succeed too. So thank you very much for being here with me. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the bell button and donations there is a link down below. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye.